Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again. And I'm here today to share my five favorite features of MIUI 12. This is the official update of MIUI 12. And let me show you right here on both the Mi 9T Pro and the Redmi K30 Pro. And you can see a very new kind of look when you go to About Phone here. And now the Mi 9T Pro is running the global version of this MIUI 12, while the K30 Pro is running the China ROM version. Now I've had my main SIM in the Redmi K30 Pro, and I have a lot of thoughts about this MIUI 12 update. And so in no particular order, let me share with you my five favorite features of MIUI 12. And this is the image that will greet you when you get started with MIUI 12. And we go ahead and use the fingerprint to jump in there, look at that crazy wallpaper, super wallpaper brings you to the surface of Mars. And so here we go. Feature number one has got to be the new bold text and improved UI and animations. Now I can easily show this to you in settings and you just notice here, Xiaomi has gone even further on this kind of bold look of the text. It is so punchy and it just looks so great here on this Redmi K30 Pro. And this translates throughout the entire kind of system. You can see here the new kind of just look of my device all the way to the camera app which I think has just been done really incredibly look at the photo portrait and all of these toggles for kind of changing aspect ratio timer they all just have a much more punchy look and I really do enjoy it add to that guys the animations there's this kind of fluid nature about the animations here you can see this here when you're swiping down on notifications or if you swipe to the left here for control center we'll talk about that in a second but I will say the overall kind of fluidity of the software is improved and besides the few kind of slight glitches here and there because it's such new software I do feel like I'm using a newer more fluid software and UI with me UI 12 and there's very little subtle kind of changes in the UI like when you swipe all the way to the bottom of settings you'll get a little haptic feedback when you do that so they're just nice touches throughout the entire OS now I will mention this and this might be a theme throughout this video these animations do remind me of another OS that I have used quite a bit and that's iOS but guess what I actually love the kind of look and the animations on iOS. So if that is something that Xiaomi is imitating here, well, they're doing a pretty good job of it because it does have this really bouncy, very natural feel to it. And I like it overall. The second feature that I'm a big fan of right now are the wallpapers. Now you've just seen here when I went from the lock screen and look at that awesome Mars wallpaper and it'll zoom right in to the surface. Pretty cool. But let's actually go to wallpapers now. And now here you see the super wallpapers on top of Red Planet. We also have Home, which is another really neat wallpaper. I'm going to go ahead and apply it here so you can have a look. And so there you see the Earth wallpaper applied slightly moving when you swipe the screen. And when I turn it off, look what happens. <laughs> we go back to the earth and when I come back in, boom. That is pretty cool, I gotta say. Now it can get a little bit disorienting over time. And I think after a bit of time, this will probably get old. I'll probably start getting a little bit kind of tired of it. But the good news is guys, those super wallpapers aren't the only incredible ones here. We have a whole new selection of system wallpapers that are absolutely incredible. And these are the ones that I think long-term I'm going to be using. Look at these gorgeous landscapes and they are just so impressive. I specifically love this one here. It looks so good. But it's not just that, we also have these geometry wallpapers that do have a very nice aesthetic to them. And this one kind of for dark mode would look really nice. But by far my favorite wallpapers have got to be this dynamic nebula series. It is pretty impressive. Let me show you this guys. I downloaded these. It looks like you're floating through the solar system here. They are absolutely stunning. Just stunning wallpapers. They remind me of the ones that we saw on the Mi Mix Alpha when that phone made its appearance here in Hong Kong. And these are just stunning and they are super high res you see there. And on top of that, we have minimalism wallpapers, black and white and more Mars wallpapers. So hands down, the new system wallpapers are incredible. They are a major step up from what we've seen in the past. And they are my second favorite feature here on MIUI 12. And now my third favorite feature, and I'm going to show it off here with the Mi 9T Pro, has got to be the new and improved multitasking. Now when you see it from here, multitasking, even the animation looks a little bit different. But this is the big thing here, guys, the addition of floating windows. And how does that work? You just go ahead and press here, and you can select which application you would like to do as a floating window. So let's go ahead and do Twitter here. And now I have a floating window of Twitter that I can just have here open and I can access all my Twitter from here. Now, if I want to minimize it, I can always do that. You can swipe and put it here to the left and you can continue doing whatever you're doing. If you're downloading apps 
or if you're kind of reading an article, but you can always access again, just press again, and then you can go and check out your Twitter. And you can see here, both applications are working in real time. So this is a pretty amazing feature here they've included in MIUI 12. And when you're all done, you just swipe away from the bottom. There we go. And that Twitter floating window is now gone. And I foresee this to be very useful for like messaging apps, Twitter, or for any other kind of smaller applications. If you wanted to, let's say, leave your messages open, you can just kind of put them there to the side, especially if you're watching videos, you don't want to interrupt the video. If you have a message that comes in, you can just go ahead and respond to it and then swipe away and close it once you're done. And that's my third favorite feature here, improved multitasking on MIUI 12 with floating windows. And so now my fifth and final features have to do with kind of power saving. So the first one we're going to talk about here is dark mode. And there's an improved dark mode here in MIUI 12. So not only can we just go ahead and turn dark mode on, but it's actually going to work on individual apps and you'll be able to adjust which third party apps will be able to use dark mode as well. But beyond that, guys, we have another area here called adjust contrast automatically. It's actually going to adjust colors and lower contrast automatically when brightness is reduced. Reduced. So in other words, when the ambient lighting in your room or in kind of your location changes, this will adjust. It will also adjust the contrast, probably making the display a little bit warmer, something similar to what we see on iOS and True Tone to be able to give you more pleasing colors that reduce eye strain on top of just dark mode as well. And I'm going to leave that on because I do actually like a warmer display in general. It helps with eye strain. And I think it's a big deal here to include that in dark mode. And so obviously dark mode is one great way to save battery life. But the other one in case, let's say you really need to save more battery life. Xiaomi has now included in this awesome new battery and performance section, Ultra Battery Saver. And here you see it, Ultra Battery Saver restricts most power consuming features, 5G, lowering your device's performance, only calls, messages, network connectivity won't be affected. So let's go ahead and say, okay, let's turn that on. And there you go, it is turning on, restricting all these activities. And boom, there we are. We are now in ultra battery saver here. So if let's say you're down to the last 5% of your battery, you still have a couple of hours to go. You switch it to ultra battery saver. At least you can make calls, get messages. And we've seen this type of feature on other OSs like Samsung's One UI. But now Xiaomi joins the party here with this awesome ultra battery saver mode. And so there we go, guys, just a few of my favorite features here on MIUI 12. And there's so many more to speak of, like, for example, the new privacy section. And Xiaomi is really focusing here on MIUI 12 improved permissions and being able to manage all the privacy settings of your phone to a bunch of new special features that you can try out here in MIUI 12. And overall, guys, I do think it's a great update and there's a lot to like here. But I will say one slightly negative thing about MIUI 12. One of the aspects that I wish was a little bit different was that this is taking a number of features that are direct one-to-one -one copies of what we see on iOS. At the bottom here, for example, you see this little bar. On iOS, it's called the home bar. But here on MIUI 12, it's called the full screen indicator. Now, the good news is, is you can turn off that full screen indicator and it will just go away completely. But that being said, guys, that is still set up by default here on MIUI 12. The other thing that I thought was pretty egregious was this control center. Now I do like control center. It actually is much cleaner and easier to navigate, but it's just this kind of transparency, the look of the toggles and just the kind of overall design of it that I think is very iOS like. I actually appreciate the new look of a lot of these types of features. My only concern is that they are so similar to what we see on iOS. And I hope over time, Xiaomi will be able to find their own identity in terms of their software. I feel like in their hardware, they're definitely doing that, but there's still a ways to go to be able to create software that is uniquely Xiaomi's. And yet despite that gripe, I absolutely love MIUI 12. It's a fantastic piece of software. These system wallpapers are incredible and I'm just enjoying the new fluidity of the OS. And I'm certain once you get MIUI 12 on your Xiaomi phone, you will agree it's a fresh coat of paint here for MIUI. And I, for one, am very happy with the experience so far. But hit me up in the comments. What are your thoughts on MIUI 12? Do you like these types of features? Which is your favorite? Or do you feel that this OS is taking a little bit too much from iOS itself? Hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Raggy Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. So I'm going to keep using MIUI 12 here. And let me know on Twitter. Drop me a comment if you have any other questions about this awesome new software update from Xiaomi. So that's it, and this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech, signing off. Have a good one.